everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all well on this sunday morning afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at and today i've got a really trigger article for you so i will put a trigger warning on this if you don't like things talking about abuse or you don't like things hearing about autistic people being mistreated then please don't watch this video and watch some of my older content but this video needs to be done it's important it needs to be brought awareness to that autistic people are still being abused by people who are supposed to care for them and this article is about a young guy called matthew langley who has been abused by his parents and as an autistic female autistic woman i thought it was important to raise awareness of this and bring it to your public attention and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to read through the article and then give my own autistic perspective towards the end. So let's get into it. A mother and stepfather who kept their starving autistic son locked in a disgusting attic bedroom have been found guilty of false imprisonment. Matthew Langley, aged 22, was close to death when he was found inside the vomit and feces covered room weighing just six stone. And severely dehydrated, his mother, Lorna Hewitt, and her husband Craig had denied keeping him captive at the Sheffield home for over seven months. They were both found guilty following a trial at Sheffield City Crown Court. The pair were also convicted of causing or allowing a vulnerable adult to suffer serious physical harm. Following the verdict by Judge Michael Slater, he told the defendants to expect a prison term of some length when they are due to be sentenced on the 18th of February. The jurors heard Mr Langley, who'd also had learning difficulties, irritable bowel syndrome and severe arthritis, had become so malnourished and dehydrated that his life had hung in the balance when he was found by paramedics and police on the 2nd of June 2020. Paramedics called out to reports that Mr Langley had collapsed, which had, which had alerted police who had found him in vomit and feces covered room over the floor, bedding and window of the attic. Prosecutor Nicholas Campbell QC said, Officers had described the smell, the overflowing bin and the presence of buzzing flies with a lock on the bedroom door with the key hanging on the outside. Mr Langley, who was unable to walk and had bruises and abrasion, abrasions, suggesting he'd been calling on all fours in the bedroom. He'd, office, he'd also suffered acute injury to his kidneys and his sodium levels were so dangerously elevated due to being deprived of liquids and other fluids for some time. His sodium levels were so high that they were shutting down his brain and kidneys and could have killed him, the prosecutor told everybody. He was taken to hospital and a nurse found him to be all skin and bone, lacking any muscle and fat. His skin was dry and dehydrated and covered in wet and dry feces. The room where he was found was in a disgusting state. It was worse than the rest of the house where he lived. The court heard Mr Langley was not seen for over seven months. They also stopped him from attending college and cancelled all his medical appointments scheduled for later on in that year. Mr Hewitt told paramedics that their son had an eating disorder, that they'd found him collapsed in his room and did not realise how ill or sick he was. Mr Hewitt also claimed that all the locks on the doors were because of the house was previously a student accommodation. They had told police that he was only locked in at night to stop him going downstairs and setting off from the fire alarms. The court was also told Matthew was a drain on their resources. So for me, that tells me everything I need to know. That's just absolutely horrendous. Also, I am going to be very good about this article. So basically what I'm going to say is there is a lack of support for the parents. The first key is to notice that. Also, I'm not condoning the abuse towards Matthew at all. I'm not. It's sick it's horrendous it's torture it's straightforward abuse period straight up straight down no messing about uh two they obviously didn't ask for support or were not making their voices loud enough to get support for matthew matthew obviously uh, has other problems like ibs and severe arthritis so again he has multiple needs multiple disabilities which would have made their pet his parents feel really difficult in a difficult position but again how much of that have they done to seek help? Have they asked for respite? Did they have a social worker, a mental health professional involved? You have to weigh things up instead of just saying that they're bad people. Obviously, what they've done is extremely bad. It's disgusting. They've broken the law. They are being sentenced on the 18th of February at Sheffield Crown Court. So they are getting punished for what they've done to their son. It's disgusting. It's just beyond comprehension of why somebody could 
really do that to their son he's autistic why the hell would you lock your son in an attic bedroom let him poo himself and you know it's just no what parents their right mind would do this i know obviously they needed help support medical attention they obviously have problems with him because of his ibs arthritis and it says here that he was unable to walk how could you not see how sick your son was why would you keep him locked in an attic bedroom and let him crawl around all fours what are you thinking like i know it's probably not your fault but at the same time you did this you let your son get so ill he went from being eight stone two to six stone two in weight that's horrendous and for being a 22 year old man at that point poor matthew i can't imagine how much mental torture he's been through and physical torture that he's been through it's it's horrendous this still proves to me that autistic people are being abused being taken advantage of by people who are meant to be caring for them who are meant to be loving them protecting them guiding them and i know obviously this is due to a lack of professional involvement this is due to them not understanding his autism clearly this is something that needs to be brought to the public attention more often because this should not be happening this is torture it's abuse he, they nearly killed him what the hell were they thinking i know obviously that they had their own issues and obviously his mum had some kind of issue dealing with him but you seek help at that point you don't let your son be locked in an attic room for over and why would you cancel all his medical appointments why would you lock him in an attic room knowing he's autistic you basically risked your son dying and for what because you couldn't cope it's not right it's it's just oh my god this makes my blood boil it's torture it's just hearing this so often i hear multiple articles i see multiple videos where autistic people are being abused and it's just this seems to me that autism is still not taken seriously within the media it's still not raised up enough and i needed to do this in a calm manner i needed to get my points out um, and the problem is i think a lot of it is again the lack of medical advice the professional involvement i think also because of him having multiple needs and disabilities a lot of autistic people in, in the uk are going to be horrified by this the autistic community will not like this at all it's horrendous it shows again that autistic people don't matter it's like you can treat us like absolute garbage and get away with this stuff and no you can't poor matthew what my 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 heart is with matthew right now i hope to god that he's getting looked after by professionals that he'll never ever again be left with his parents i hope to god that someone is with him right now that he's with other family or he'll have to be put through the foster system or something like that because i hope to god that he doesn't get put back with his parents i hope to god that when his parents do get convicted they will realize what they've done what they've done to their son who is severely disabled that it's just clearly matthew couldn't communicate either which does worry me because clearly matthew has communication issues and clearly he has severe arthritis which means he's very 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 ill and the fact that he has problems with eating because he has ibs that is another issue entirely and i'm not a medical professional so this is just my own thoughts of what i think and what i feel on the article it just makes me feel so numb and sick that someone could be abused and again his medical needs were ignored he had medical points cancelled what were they what was their game plan what were they trying to do to him were they trying to kill him were they trying to not have him in society and it clearly says on the article here that i read he was a burden and drain on their resources how are we a burden and a drain on your resources i'm sorry actually no i'm not we are not a burden on your resources people we are humans like you are we don't deserve to be treated like we're nasty or bad tragic tragedies we're not we are people who just have a different way of thinking feeling seeing the world and what these two people have done is abuse it is torture they nearly killed their own child 
that is ridiculous and I can't stand for it. I won't allow it. And I hope to God that the UK Parliament sees this video. I hope to God that the custody and police authorities will charge them as appropriate for the full extent of the law. I hope that no other autistic person has to go through this or other people with disabilities, whether it's a child or adult. And it just makes me sick to my stomach to think that this poor guy's been through this since June 2020 and he's only now being removed. That's sad. That's really bad on the authority side of things. And two, it shows that the criminal justice system is so behind with looking after people with autism. This is scary. This is not great. I, do, I don't usually do these kind of videos, but I wanted my thoughts to be out there. I want to read through this article to give you the kind of lowdown. Um, I will attach the articles down below in the video description. Um, but yeah, let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me in the comments down below. I look forward to communicating with you and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.